Another exchange bites the dust. You'll be waiting a long time to get your crypto from that exchange. And another one is telling you no more Bitcoin for you. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is Da Vinci Jeremy. I'm in the pot 5x5, five five, stay alive here in Dubai. Hope you're doing well. Um, I am back from Turkey, uh, man. It was a great trip. It would have been better if I was, wasn't so sick. I got really ill. If you were watching my stories on Instagram, yeah, I had an IV in, I had to get uh, painkillers and stuff like antibiotics actually, uh, in order to get uh, to, to get a little bit better. Now, uh, I don't know if you noticed, there's like the whole building is shaking. I don't know if it's construction or it's our air conditioning system that's causing our whole building to shake, my whole house to shake uh, here on the Palm but we're trying to figure that out. So uh, that might happen from time to time during the show. If if you notice it, if you notice like things swaying and stuff like that, that's, <laughs> that's, just, that's just normal around here right now, for right now. <laughs> Anyways, right, okay, we're gonna be talking about, uh, well, Binance, you know, they, uh, they stopped withdrawals again. We're going to check that out and what what does that, that mean and what, is that, what does that entail. And also we're going to check in the charts to see what trades we can make. In the meantime, um, yes, it's uh, Bitcoin has taken a dump. And is it going to go further? We're going to talk about that and tell you how to trade that. And if you're interested in trading that, you can head over to bybit.davicij15.com. Links are in the description below, but you will need to KYC. That means you will have to provide all your information on who you are in order to sign up to that exchange. Um, also, you could head over to okx.davicij15.com as well. Okay, let's uh, head over to the news for today. The first news for today. Crypto exchange Bittrex files for bankruptcy after SEC complaint. Oh boy, well, you know, um, it's sad. Uh, I didn't think they would go down, but they, you know what? The, ever since they started complying with all the rules, their volume has dropped to like nothing. They did KYC, AML, they did everything that the US government wanted them to do. And yeah, their customer base dropped off heavily. So the cryptocurrency exchange Bittrex Inc. filed for bankruptcy to protection on Monday, three weeks after the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission accused it of operating an unregistered security exchange. Now, the reason why, of course, is, is probably not because they don't have enough money. They don't have enough money to pay off the fines. With all of that volume drop, they, they after, after 2017, uh, Pump, they they were doing very well in 2017. There was zero KYC. And yeah, and then all of a sudden they had to put it in and that was it. That uh, just, just killed them. Absolutely destroyed Bittrex. Uh, their volume started to drop. You see it across the board on uh, the exchange when you use their, when you check out their charts, right? From the, from the past to, to now. We could, we could actually check out some of the charts, actually. Maybe let's just do that quickly. And Bitrex, let's just go with, let's go with something older. Oh, it looks like their feeds have stopped. Oh no. Yes, Mona, BTC. Yes, there we go. That has been around for a long time, Mona coin. <laughs> it's a meme coin, right? Um, that uh, it was a Japanese meme coin, and it's been around since you know 2014. It's been a it's it's been a long time around, and it would every once in a while do something crazy and then come back down, right? Crazy and come back back down. So now, but Mona is uh, dead. Now, if we take a look at the volume, you can see there was massive volumes here, but then the volume started to drop off. So as time went on, the volumes, see how the volumes were big here? 
And then as the time went on, it's like, what? That's nothing compared to what happened before. Right? That's the key point. During this, this period, it was massive, massive volume, unprecedented volume, right? Uh, and then it just slowly dropped off as, um, as basically the exchange died off. Okay. That's, and so that exchange, I mean, I knew its days were numbered once they started uh, behaving really, really badly. Um, I remember when I got uh, AML, AML is different from KYC. Um, I did my KYC and then, then they wanted to do an AML on me. And I was so pissed because I only had one deposit <laughs> and only withdrawals. And uh, because I had made the most money through that exchange, right, by trading, uh, trading a lot of uh, of bitcoin uh, my some of my trading my bitcoin that one bit deposit trading that up to to like like a whole bunch of bitcoin because using the little edge strategy and and so when i was like well when they wanted to know where i got all the money i was like well i got it because i was trading there and then they asked me to show all the trading volume all my trading stats everything and i was like but it's on your exchange. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> I was ridiculous. Oh my God. And I'm like, you know, if you continue this way, people are not going to use your exchange. And they just, they would not release my funds, right? And it was at the time millions of dollars um, on that on the exchange. And and so, yeah, it was back and forth for for uh, about a month before they released my exchange, my funds. That's how bad it was, how bad the AML was, which is anti-money laundering um, procedures, where they just check to see where, where you got the money, basically. And uh, yeah. Uh, even though they complied with all the laws, doesn't help, right? And look at as uh, uh, Bittrex, all its assets and liabilities are now, you know, only down to, to like a half, uh, like a half a billion to a billion, according to bankruptcy uh, a petition filed by uh, Wellington Delaware Court. Yeah, they they can't survive, right? Um, because I mean, those assets belong to the customers. It's not theirs. If they get fined like millions and millions of dollars, right? This billions of dollars of assets, all they're getting is a fraction of the trades between the trades. And if there's not a lot of trades going on, right? Because they don't have enough people interested in, in uh, trading on their platform, they can't pay. I would call it the shakedown fee that the SEC has uh, brought against them. And so those assets are safe and secure. And Bittrex said, it intends to ask the, the ask the bankruptcy court to for a limited reopening of the customer's account so that so the crypto could be uh, distributed back to customers. Yeah, that's nice of them, um, but uh, the court's probably not going to allow that, and so that's going to be probably months before anyone actually sees anything. Unfortunately. Sorry for all you people who have uh, crypto there. I have a little bit there, but uh, that's just the way it works. It takes a long time. I'm still waiting for uh, so, so, some sort of uh, information from the, the last cryptocurrency bankruptcy, which was um, uh, Coin... Now I can't remember the name. But anyways, there was another one that, uh, that, that went under and, and they're, they're, supposed, they're supposed to have all the crypto to hand over and they still haven't given us so yeah I, and that's the way it is okay so i'm part i'm an ambassador of fitburn and their their cal token is going to be listing on may 15th that is the, the token that you can actually uh, earn to, to when you're burning to earn and use to actually uh, to, to purchase other things or to uh, stake on in their application to improve your uh, your uh, workout and your earning more a Cal token. So 
check it out. Yeah, don't miss out on this uh, um, this this event, and we will we will definitely definitely be celebrating the cow tokens on the fifteenth, right? Because hey, you know what, D- Da Vinci J fifteen, right? <laughs> All right. So moving on, uh, let's head over to. Um, the story, which is like shocking, it sounds a little bit shocking. Uh, crypto stock drops as Binance halts Bitcoin withdrawals for hours. Oh, that is never ever a good sign for an exchange to actually break um, Bitcoin withdrawals. Let's find out what happened. So, shares of the cryptocurrency and blockchain related company fell in early trading hours. On Monday, after Binance halted its Bitcoin withdrawals for several hours due to heavy volume rising processing fees. Hmm. So fees on the Bitcoin network don't go up. It's just always the same. It's just low. (laughs) Alrighty. So, uh, oof. The halt pushed uh, the halt pushed Bitcoin, the the world's uh, biggest uh, cryptocurrency, down two percent to uh, a one week low of uh, twenty seven nine. Uh, well, I don't think that uh, just because prices moved that way, because I mean it was at twenty seven nine before last week. So why would it? Why would the just Fees. They're saying that uh, that the, it's been reinstated, of course, right? But why would fees cause them to halt withdrawals? It doesn't make any sense. Let's just pretend. Let's let's pretend um, they have a fixed fee for paying the the miners, and that was too low. Well. That's silly because then uh, the, you should, uh, it should be a dynamic fee because you can check to see, okay, there's a lot of transactions going on. So I'm going to raise the fee and try and tell, you know, the customers as they're sending their, their crypt Bitcoin out, hey, they're going to have to pay more fees. I mean, this is normal programming, right? Uh, not sure, right, how they have. Since they're the biggest platform, they have not realized that, hey, Bitcoin has gotten, has had large fees before. Actually, I think, yes, it has. It's had fees up to $50 at one time. And $50 for one transaction. Yes, that was just Christmas of 2017. You would have, if you want to send like just $10 of Bitcoin, that would cost you 50 bucks back then and transactions today the number of transactions today are the same amount as it was back in 2017 highest peak so uh i'm not sure if 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 it was a 50 dollar um transaction fee that was required here with uh with for um binance because that's that's unlikely. I don't know. I'm gonna have to see what exactly these guys are up to um, because they're hold, they're not they're they're not giving us the full picture. All right. With that with that said, let's go on to Pepe Coin. Pepe Coin. Oh boy. Let's see here. So that's still uh, like five zeros and a one eight. Six nine. Okay, very good, Pepe. Amazing how uh, how this thing has continued to run. Uh, after it ran because of the Binance listings, and uh, quite shocking. I told you guys not to be a buyer up here, right? That was still good advice, even though it ran up here. Reason why is that you never know how when this thing is going to come back down. You don't want to be the bag holder. You don't want to be the person who buys a top. Of course, if you bought this top, right? You know what? You're you're, you're profit, but at the same time, that could go away 
if this sim comes crashing back down to lower levels, because that can easily happen. Uh, we can easily see um, this come all the way back down, right, to below, yeah, at least the 78.6 is easy, or even the 88.6 is probably there right about here. Yeah, look at that. It's right exactly dead smack center is what would be the 88.6, and that's exactly where the top of the range there, the top of that 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 uh, that range where it first, uh, before it broke out. So uh, that's where all the uh, professional traders are buying, and that's where you should be buying, right? At the lows, not the highs, right? Because in order to make money in, in uh, stock markets or, or crypto, it's best to buy low and sell high. <laughs> I know, I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy. <laughs> but that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> and a lot of people just, just do the opposite. So don't be uh, the, one of those people who, uh, you know, loses all their money. Oh, I lost all my money in crypto. Why? You got to ask them why? Because I bought this crypto. It was it was going up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then it went down, right? Yeah, it went down and I sold it all. Yeah, because you, you bought high and sold low. That doesn't make you money. That makes you lose money. See the difference? All right. So, but with that said, keep in mind right, that you don't know if Pepe is going to do well in the future. So don't dump all your money into Pepe coin in the hopes that it does something spectacular. Okay. Uh, Coinbase final news article for today. Uh, Coinbase CEO touts UAE as a forward thinking amid the U S crypto crackdown. Yes. Uh, I guess Coinbase is coming to, to Dubai. Come to Dubai, Habibi. Come, come to Dubai. <laughs> it's taxes are zero, zero. <laughs> and it's so much easier. Life is so much easier when you don't have to plan how to lower your tax burden. Um, this is why businesses are coming here to Dubai. It is, uh, it is a key area for uh, the crypto uh, universe. So uh, it's going to be the crypto hub for the foreseeable fewer future. All right, in the next stop on a world tour, Coinbase CEO has touted the forward thinking crypto reg uh, regulations in the United Arab Emirates. Yes, uh, U UAE is the country, Dubai is a city. I noticed that a lot of girls, right, say, oh yeah, I'm going to the country Dubai. Yes, it's not, not a country, Dubai is not a country, it's a city inside the UAE. All right. <laughs> the, the UAE deserves a lot of credit for being forward thinking on crypto. Um, so wrote Ben Armstrong, first, the dedicated crypto regulations in the world, a clear rule book published, business friendly, um, plus strong customer protections. Really enjoy my visit so far. So he's here. I mean, man, he's here actually. Damn. Maybe I should go find out where he is and get, have a, have an interview. Okay. With that said, let's jump into the charts because uh, you know well, I've been blathering on for quite some time. Okay. So Bitcoin, it is stuck in its range here. You can see that it's got it's got to hold this. Let's let's make these green lines here. These green lines has got a hold. So, with that said, right, can it, can it hold these green lines? Well, you can see this M is not helping. This is not helping. This is not helping, right? But, but we are in a bullish, bullish direction. So, uh, these M's can get easily negated. So keep that in mind. You can see that we are in a higher trend up. Oh, we're in an uptrend. So, 
So you can't really count 100% on the ends to give you the, the, the correct direction. So this, if this end breaks, right, you can see they, they give us, if we can just zoom in a little bit here. There we go. Now let me just take the magnet off. You can see that this thing could break even further down. This is the target for that M, creating another M, of course, right here, right, which creates a bigger target even further down. So yes, right down to a 20K, 22K uh, level. So that's, that's a possibility for uh, Bitcoin. It's got to hold these lower levels um, right now. If you want to trade the um, the breakdown, because it is breaking down here, and this is the most likely target, you can um, you can start open up a sh open up a short here. Make sure your uh, stop loss is limited. But I would suggest you wait because um, this is uh, this is the bottom of the range, and Bitcoin has been stuck in this range for quite some time. And usually, one ranging in a, um, a very strong support resistance area usually is the same as if it was um, if it broke went up to the, the resistance area bounced back came back down for a while and then came back and tested it again it's the same kind of thing how do how do we know that well you, you can see that the ethereum did exactly that right? It ranged across the same area and then finally broke higher. So Bitcoin could be um, preparing to do something exactly like that. So uh, waiting for a little bit more clarity is better. Uh, lower, waiting for a lower uh, entry would probably be the best, the best uh, advice for you at this current time right now. Now, if you try to short here, course you you the short would be this would be the, the target right about here there you go and then we would uh, reduce it so that we um a stop loss so that we can take a two to one risk to reward ratio so uh, this is on the daily so let's go down to a four hour scale and see what uh what 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 price action is giving us right there. Um, I wonder if you guys could hear Waffles. She's like, wants to come in and uh, to join the conversation. Uh, yeah, the four hours, right? Looks like uh, Bitcoin is going to uh, hold here for a while and we might end up bouncing off of like uh, testing this level and then bouncing back up. So keep that in mind. If we break down, move your stops to break even. Um, it is, it is, a, it's a wild situation here with Bitcoin, and it could, um, and it's really difficult to trade these ranges um, from time to time. Okay, so let's go on to uh, Ethereum. But before you do, make sure you head over to bybit.davincij15.com or okx.davincij15.com. Links are in the description below and in the pinned comment. Okay, as I was saying with Ethereum, yes, we it, it breaks, it has a consolidation area and then breaks out. If we stay in a consolidated area, chances are we're gonna break out to the, and we're in a specific upward direction, in a specific direction in a general time frame. Uh, uh, you can assume that it's going to break out, right? Uh, you don't stay in this area for no reason and then decide to fall down. No, it's, uh, it, it will, it generally um, breaks higher. So with that said, generally, we can see that same situation here. Although it looked like it was, oh, that's it. We're going higher. That's it. <laughs> Boom. Uh, yeah. And then on the weekend, just failure. So this failure, uh, Retest, we're retesting the bottom of the range again, unfortunately. Um, uh, does that mean that we can, we're gonna break that range? Uh, I really think that we're going to have to let, let the market decide on this one. 
Uh, if it breaks this range, you can take the short down, uh, or if you're in this trade, you can exit it. Um, but uh, there's a chance that we can hold this, hold the line and head above um, head above this, this trend line. Now, because we're closer to the, the bottom than we are at the top here, it, it makes it harder for us to do that. Now, because there's a, also a head and shoulders pattern there, as you can see, I don't know if you saw that, but this does not bode well. <laughs> that does not bode well. Uh, it looks like a rocket ship, but it's not. It's actually just sadness, right? Um, right? Because it's when, I remember what I said, when the market smiles at you, right? Because it's, it's a sideways smile. Sideways, oops. That's a horrible smile. But it's like, it's not looking good. It, when it smiles at you, it's ready to take your money. So, yeah, this is not good. We can see that um, this target, because it's a very big head and shoulders, the target, I would say, no, no, that's not, not the, yeah, that's not the shoulder. Look at that, that would be a, it's target is way, it's a break, yes. All the way down, right? Yeah, there we go. We're going to break all these levels all the way down to 1731, unfortunately. So, yeah, um, I was, I would, uh, now that I, now that I see the uh, head and shoulders pattern, I would say that we are most likely going to break down and uh, head all the way down here. So, that was a brace. It sucks, but uh, that's the that's a clear uh, direction, and that the the chart's telling us we can't uh, can't deny it. Uh, that's where it is. Um, uh, so the, to trade this, right? You can. It's our, the, the trade already started, of course, right? Um, with the short, it started way up here, and. You can see the target right here. So, so with the stop loss, you can hit the. You can take the stop loss and um, let's see here. That's a two to one. You want to be a two to one, right? This is how you trade this. If you you saw the pattern beforehand, but uh, you could take the. You could you could take an open trade here, um, stop loss it at the uh, eighteen eighty. And, um, you know, take the rest, let the rest all ride all the way down to 1731 because that is the most likely target to end the worthwhile trade to, to make with Ethereum. Okay, so let's see. Let's take a look at the, the uh, dominance before I close this. Please, let's see if the dominance is not broken above the 49%. No, it has not. That, a break above the 49% is the... Uh, the, the telltale sign that the alt season is not coming for the summertime. Uh, but right now we're good uh, at the 49%. Um, it's, it's holding just below that. If it breaks, if the Bitcoin dominance breaks above the 49%, the alts are going to be actually destroyed and you, you want to stay in Bitcoin. If they, if it does break down, Right, uh, then you can tell the for sure that we're um, we're in a uh, a new alt season. Is basically we just have to break below here, this level here, uh, and uh, which is the forty six point seven seven percent, or this uh, trend line as well. This upward moving trend line would also signify a change in the trend, and we're headed lower, probably to as low as a two hundred period moving average or down to, to this moving trend line up if this is a moving trend line if this is a correct trend line i think i think so yes it is come down to that trend line and decide to bounce from there okay well thank you all for watching thanks for for being here today uh i was uh, a little bit late on this show but uh uh, I'm glad to, to be here. I'm going to be speaking at the, the Crypto uh, 306 event today. Uh, my speech is at, at 1230. So 
uh, yeah, I'm going to have to prepare for that uh, soon. So thanks for watching, and we see you guys uh, tomorrow. Cheers.